2K Sports. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, this is Kevin Harlan, our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. It's the Orlando Magic facing the New York Knicks. And it's going to be the Magic off the tip. Now the starting group for Orlando. They've got Anderson. Grant is out there with Roy. Then there's Shaquille O'Neal. And it's Hardaway in at the point guard position. It's Anderson with the drive. Good, and Grant gets the assist. Now what a great option he gives them on every possession. Cuts it fly. And that's collected by Grant. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. Penny and Hardaway, Hardaway gets it to go. Three and they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Sprewell. Great ball and body control there by Sprewell. To the middle. Penny with a terrific assist. Assist from Total letdown by the D. Can't leave the bucket unprotected. Absolutely. And it attacks an easy two points onto the lead. Will not find a higher percentage opportunity than that. Here's Sprewell. And the shot goes down. And how about Sprewell mixing it up inside, getting to a high percentage look there. To the left wing. D2 from Anderson, and again, it's Orlando converting. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. Here's Sprewell. Pass to Ewing. A stupendous finish in traffic. And how about the muscle inside from Ewing? Easily getting to wherever he wants to on that low block. Here's the lob to the hoop. The alley-oop from Penny, right on the money. Penny oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Here's Sprewell, and the Knicks getting another bucket right there. And when he gets in his head that he's going to get to the basket, very little you can do defensively. Here's Royal, and Ewing with the block. Johnson right side. Shoots over Grant. Some solid defense from Grant. <laughs> when you are wrapped up that tightly in the mid-range, you are better off just moving the ball. Yeah, that's one where you hope if he gets in there the next time, he, he makes a different choice. Here's Ward. Oh, good with the triple. Didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Yeah, you got to like how he hustled to guard out on the perimeter, definitely respecting the shooting ability. Penny and Shaq connect. And far from just a score, Hardaway is Penny also Hardaway. adept at finding his teammate. Here's Johnson. And it's good. Two points. Johnson. And that does it for the first quarter. First quarter Magic four. lead by five. The Knicks. We'll get things Ten. started in the second the quarter Magic. when we return. 15. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for the Magic. So far, they've moved the ball well, leading to open, high-percentage looks. Lots of assists in this ball. And getting to the inside is really important, but it's how close you can get to the basket. It feels like these guys are all around the rim in their attack tonight. This is how the floor looks for the Magic start in the second. Grant is out there with Shaquille O'Neal. Then there's Scott. Then there's Hardaway. And it's Shaw in at the one. Shot on the wing. Sprewell. That's good. Sprewell's got eight points. Orlando leading by five. Here's Shaw. And the layup's good off the glass. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. And so it's New York with it. The pass to Sprewell. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. 156 left here in the second. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. I mean, it's just fun to sit back and enjoy watching him operate. And that's what it looked like the D was doing as well. They're just sitting back and watching. And now the first time out called here for the matchup. Good 
good ball movement here by the match. And the shot goes in. Shaq's got the lead up to seven now for Orlando. Shaq gets the ball there. It doesn't matter who's guarding. Not loose. Grant finds Hardaway. Out to the right wing. Here's Shaw, and it's Orlando with another Shaw. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Yeah, that along with maintaining the pace of play right now, playing with tons of intensity. Oh, Kevin, not a petty, not a Manny, but a face. Oh, a bounce to the outs, Greg. Yeah, showing off the bunny. Now oh, here's Hardaway. Next spot. Patrick Ewing's checked in for New York. Johnson comes in for Thomas. And a switcher also for Orlando. Anderson's checked in. Outside, Scott. And he gets the bucket. 44 seconds left in the second quarter. Ewing right side. Child. That's good, and Ewing with the assist. And, and guarding him on the perimeter isn't a priority for them right now, but if this continues, it will be. Hardaway kicks to Anderson. Pass to O'Neal. That's it, and he's now three for three and looking sharp. It's a tall challenge trying to contain Shaq, especially when he's operating close to the basket. Now Ewing lets it go with a three. three. Epic goes, and the magic lead is cut down to five Let's on the bucket from Sprewell. Playing from behind right here, not easy, but he is he answering the bell. Yeah, doing anything he can right now to when get his... And that'll do it for the first half, a competitive game so far. Magic. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Jump. It was a closely contested first quarter for Orlando. They did lead by as many as seven points in the first period. Scoring-wise, they broke even in the second, so little ground was lost there. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on how Orlando played? It's always a positive sign to see assist numbers like this. They're moving the rock with other half. It's a brand of unselfish basketball that's fun to watch and play. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on New York? Right now, they're playing well only on one end of the court. All the energy has been spent on the offensive. Oh, that's a shame. We're just going to keep giving up easy buckets. And that'll do it. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. We've got you in. Johnson is out there with Ward. And it's Houston at the shooting guard position. That's the five for New York right now. And he gets it to go. Sprewell's got it going here in the start of the second half. The first points in the third quarter for the Knicks. Magic leading by three. Here's Hardaway. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. And it's that in-between area, the, the mid-range. It's where Hardaway is probably most comfortable with his shot. Here's Ewing. Passes it to Houston. A nice shot by Ewing. Ewing. This team really feeds off of one another in terms of their energy. At least in the second half, they have been. The first half wasn't played anywhere near this intense. Two minutes remaining in the Master third. Grant. Two minutes. And the dunk by Grant. Yeah, you know, that level of physicality that Grant brings inside it is awesome to watch. He does a great job with finishing with that power above the rim. And it's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Well, just ripping through right there as he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. Well, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. When the player gets a feel for that floater, 
can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard them and where your point of commitment is. Here's Sprewell. He's two up. Now he is nine of ten. And he's had an excellent performance overall from the field. Outside Hardaway. To the paint. Here's Ewing. And Ewing slams it in. So impressive. The fortitude. The will to battle back. But it did take a lot of energy to get here. Well, they didn't really have a choice at the position that they were. They had to fight hard. They've gotten that. They've outworked the other team. Just fighting tonight. Here's Grant. Good, and the assist Hardaway. goes to Hardaway. The assist. Hardaway has got his Penny seventh Hardaway. assist of the game with that last one. And very strong at just under seven feet tall. Grant loves using the that to his advantage ball. inside. Easy little jumper for him right there, guys. The pass to Roy. The rim rattling two-handed jam. Go into the rack with energy. And the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defender. There's some ways to get your coach's attention, and that draws the coaching staff's ire. His performance today has just been so important. What a luxury to have a guy that's that Shaquille dependent. O and O'Neal gets it to go. Penny and with the height to see over people and the peripheral vision to do it quickly, Penny with the perfect setup. That's nice vision there. You see that pass, you make the feet before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. And this is why Shaq's teammates lob it up for him. They trust him to finish that alley-oop. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to Next send a message with that slam, I think. Moore. First personal foul. First team foul. Substitution on the court. Fires from way outside. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Knicks lead by one. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. 41. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Orlando trailing here, and so in the game for the Magic, Bowie is out there with Grant, then there's Hardaway, then there's Shaw, and it's Shaq, and at the center, filling out the middle. Hardaway. And Hardaway gets it to go. Uh, and that was the right call. When, when you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. Yeah, whether it's teammates or the coaching staff, hopefully a combination of both, but gets close, he's getting the ball. Pass to Shaw, puts up a deep three. It's rebounded by New York. Looks like the game plan is they're willing to give him that kind of shot. It worked out for them this time, but if they give it to him again, I, I bet three points are coming. Inside, Grant kicks to O'Neal. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That's on Kirk Thomas. Well, sending Shaq to the line here is on paper with a smart foul, but O'Neal might just make them regret it. Orlando making some changes. Scotty's checked in for Bowie. And it's Anderson in for Hardaway. Sprewell, that's good. A, a crucial breakout defensively, and he was quick to make him pay. You might see this in the early part of the game, but at this stage in the game, that's just really something unacceptable. He's a great mid-range scorer. Turner's checked in for Grant. Jeff Turner. Here is Shaw. And looks like the illegal kick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Nice. That one stings there. Hurts so much more to turn the ball over, especially with how tight the game is. Ewing left side. Over O'Neal. And too long on the shot. And his lateral quickness really allows him to stay in front of the shooter there and challenge the shot. Talk about versatility on offense a lot, but how about on defense? And he takes pride in making an impact on it. You can tell Spiro is very competitive. When they need a shot, he's the guy to deliver. Passes it to Anderson. Over Houston. The Magic again can't hit. The Knicks with the lead. Here's Sprewell. Oh! And he goes in for the dunk. And talk 
about putting some extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. And now, let's take a look at the New Balance Player of the Game. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. The Knicks making a switch here. Ward's checked in. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, during the last break, I heard Orlando's coach talk to his team. With the game in the balance, the coach was calm in the huddle. His main message, execution told his team to make sure to remember what they talked about during shoot-around. We've got a great ending in store. Guys, well, thanks, David. Well, that is world class. Love seeing that there. A huge possession, and he nets it. It falls! And he, and he has brought them to within two points. And that's a huge shot right there. Hardaway knows his team looks for him to come up in the clutch. Jack against you. The trade. They get the rebound. Got it. Yeah, how about the purpose with which he's crashing the backboard right now? Some hard earned second chance. Points. Time called here. The Magic decide to talk it over. They're down by four. 27 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Royal, he's checked in for Orlando. Magic substitution. Donald Royal. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Hardaway. It's in! And he has brought them to within two points. He's so good at setting up his teammates. Tonight, though, Hardaway's been calling his own number. And boy, has he been prolific. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. They're ahead by two. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Yeah, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. And an intentional foul right there. First personal foul. Good on the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. Yeah, a defendable shooter from the line. Spurrow with a chance to add more. And just like that, this game is a two-possession affair. To the inside. Money! And this is the time when you want to lock it down defensively. Thus far, not happening. I'm looking out there trying to find one guy at least interested in playing defense. Not that last possession. At the line, 41. Allen Houston. So he gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. Yeah, that'll ice it right there. Not everybody can keep their composure at the line in such a big situation. Back to Hardaway. The three from Anderson. With the tip. Brings on the follow. Yeah, and that's a pure hustle play. Getting to the offensive glass for the 